Hello, Just Too Good here, and today's Throwback Thursday, I would be covering a LEGO Fabuland set in the rotation, but I actually ran out of Fabuland sets to cover. I, I thought I had more, and I think I have more, but I gotta find them. Either way, this is sort of a Fabuland set, because if you see, these characters in this LEGO Basic line, the Universal Building sub-theme from around 1986, that's when this set came out, had Fabuland bodies, interestingly enough. Now this is an unopened box, I'm going to open this carefully because it's still in kind of good condition in terms of the box packaging. Now let's pour everything out. And you have your pieces, a little rotor right there, uh, instructions, an advertisement, and by the way this retailed for I believe $8 and it's just the basic helicopter. So here is the set all built up, now let's take a look at that minifigure. This is really where the creepiness comes in. This figure right here, which if you see if that body looks familiar to you, you get a Lego minifigure from Fabuland, you can see they use the same exact body. It looks like, um, of course, different coloring, but uh, same tallness. The only thing that's different is the head. And the head has the same rotation where you could rotate it in like 360 degrees. But those eyes just stare into your soul. I don't know, man. They probably should have just gone like the Lego minifigure route, but then again, it would look weird because he has a nose and Lego minifigures aren't supposed to have noses. You see he even has indents on his hair right there. I feel like if I ever wanted to represent myself as a Fabulan figure, this is how I would look, even though this barely looks like me. It has the brown hair. I guess we can get that. Yeah, now he just looks kind of sinister when you put his head down like that. My gosh, I'm sorry I keep roasting this figure. Let's go on to the build itself. So back to the build, and this is on the level of, I guess, a Fabulan build, if not even, I guess, blockier than a Fabulan build. It's more like the earlier Fabulan builds. I mean, the 86 Fabulan builds, which this is when the year this uh, set came out, 1986, they were a little bit more complex than a build like this. Either way, there's some interesting pieces, like this old rotor right here, which I don't have. Maybe it came in like a Fabuland helicopter or something, but I don't have any Fabuland helicopters or anything like that, or Fabuland planes. This is kind of interesting, and it makes a nice whirring sound if you get a good spin, so... Let me see if I can get that a good sound. Dang it, it's... There you go. That's kind of fun to play around with. And uh, you have this little mini rotor right here at the back. Also interesting that they printed a 390 on a 2x3, which is an interesting print that is on both sides of the build. And then the front actually has a nice kind of thicker windshield, which I don't think I have. I mean, I know they have kind of these curved windshields with the Vabulan sets, but not one that is actually this thick. So that's quite interesting. But yeah, very simple build, not too appealing for the eyes, but again, some nice older pieces. So let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. So for the box photo set, you can see it says basic on the front. They have a little side build right there, which is just a chair and a table. And then some alternate builds, a windmill. That actually looks pretty cool. I like the windmill. A boat and like a little pontoon plane. And on the side, it says PVP 650. I don't think that is a United States dollar, especially with the comma right there. The instructions don't have anything too interesting on them, except this little picture of a mother helping her daughter, which is quite adorable. But uh, they do have this nice little advertisement right here for some 80s Lego system sets. We do got the lovely Fabuland right there. Um, some basic sets, which is the line that we're covering right now. Looks like some Duplo up there, but when you go to the back, you do have some nice castle sets and even some town, some Technic, some boats. I always want that little tugboat right there. That's a set I've been looking for for a while. And even everybody's favorite classic space, which is actually probably my least favorite out of all the stuff on here besides Technic, but still it is adored by many. So that's it for the packaging. Now let's go on to the final verdict. So overall, this was kind of interesting to take a look at this. I mean, the standout is the minifigure because that minifigure is pretty darn creepy. Some people think the Fabulan figures are creepy. I think I probably thought that at one time, but now I've grown to love them. So maybe one day I'll grow to love these basic figures, but for now, I just think they're quite weird. The design for the helicopter is very simple, but we do get some nice older pieces, so I do appreciate that. So that's it for this Throwback Thursday. I think next week would be what, uh, a Star Wars one? I don't know. I gotta calculate. Actually, no, it's not a Star Wars one. It would be... Let me see this. I think just a regular, normal, random one. So maybe that will finally be the sports bus for uh, LEGO Stalker. But we'll see how that comes out. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.